Hi guys, welcome to today's video. So I usually get a lot of questions about how I became herbalist, where I studied, what books I use, and just general questions about how to know more about herbs. So I just thought I'd start this topic off with a simple introduction video um, and it will be about the books that I use, the books that I used during my studies and the books that I use now. Now these are not the only books that I use but these are the ones that I kind of um, I really want to show you and what I do recommend. So the first book I recommend is this book. It is uh, the Phytotherapy Desk Reference book. I will put a link to all the books that I talk about today in the description box below, so don't worry. For anybody that wants to study herbal medicine or just wants to know more about herbs in general, I always recommend this desktop reference. Um, you can see how much I love it. It's like, it's literally battered. I use it for all my studies. It's got loads of like spillages on it and like the back page has gone and the page has fallen out, but it's still like my most used book. Um, I used to have it in my bag all the time. I still put it in my handbag a lot now. I take it to work with me. And the reason why I recommend it is just that it has a good handful of herbs. It tells you the English name and then the Latin name, the scientific name of the herb. It tells you um, what the herb does. It tells you what it's generally used for. And it also tells you the dosages that you should use it in. It tells you about... Um, any instances where you shouldn't use it, like the contraindications, and it also tells you about drug interactions as well, briefly. So this book literally has, it's like a tiny book with all the information you might need to like make a prescription or to start using herbs yourself. It's really good. At the back it also has a glossary, which is good because when you start to learn more about herbal medicine, you'll start to see the loads of words that you don't quite understand. Um, herbal medicine has like its own language. Um, you might have the common ones that you know, like anti-inflammatory or antiseptic, but there's loads of herbs that you might not, there's loads of words that you might not understand, so it has a glossary, which is really good. It also has like a list of diseases, common diseases at the back, um, like arthritis, high blood pressure and things like that, that you um, might come across, and it tells you which herbs are good to use um, with the, in those diseases. So, desktop reference, guys. I know there are probably others, but this is the one that I use and used and it's amazing, I swear by it. So the next book that I'm going to show you is Medical Herbalism by David Hoffman. Um, this was actually given to me quite recently, but I used to use it all throughout my studies, like in like from libraries, and it's just so good. It has like um, a good handful, good selection of herbs, but what I like about this book, it doesn't just tell you about the herbs and in reference form and what they're used for but he lists out like all of the different systems of the body like the digestive system the immune system the respiratory system and he tells you a little bit about them and the herbs that are good for them or the type of herbs that are good for them so for example he talks about the, um, the respiratory system um, talks about the different like problems that you could come across in the respiratory system and then it talks about the types of herbs that are good for that system like you know expectorants and uh, antiseptics and things like that so this book is amazing um, it, he goes really in depth he is, it has a lot of detail in this book so if you're someone that wants to um, just immerse yourself in knowledge this is the book for you and it's quite easy to understand it's as Detailed as it is, he speaks like plain English and it's just so easy to understand. So David Hoffman, Medical Herbalism, great book. The next book that I want to show you is The Herbal Tutor by Anne McIntyre. Um, I love this book. This is one of the first books that I got when I started studying. Um, it's really good. It just lists out each herb. It lists out um, what it's used for. Uh, the parts that are used also lists out the different systems underneath the herb like digestive system, respiratory system and how it's but how that herb is beneficial for that system it's really good it's got really lovely pictures um, it has like a, the beginning section on like how to use herbs and preparing herbs um, we've got safety information as well and this is just generally a really good book with good uh, safe information so that's Herbal Tutor by Anne McIntyre. Um, another book that I love and that I got um, when I was studying and that you've probably come across before if you know a little bit about hers is Bartram's Encyclopedia of Herbal Medicine. Now this book is good, it's just literally an A to Z of different diseases and herbs and all these different things. Um, and it. I, I, I love it, I love this book, but I, n I never use this book by itself, and that's, I think that's with, like, with every 
um, every herbal book. You should never just read it by itself and take everything that it says and then use it. I would always cross-reference. So I use this book along with this book along with the, the Hoffman book and just see what like um, what they're each saying about different herbs and then use that information, like, as I gather that information in my head, then use that information to go forward with whatever prescriptions I want to use or how I want to take herbs. So for example, that like this herb might talk, this book might talk about burdock and it lists like a thousand different uses that for burdock. But sometimes you want uh, herbs have different qualities. They they can treat so many different things but each herb usually has like it's like a Mm, what it's generally used for or its specific um, action. So cross-referencing just helps you to narrow those things down and helps you to use herbs more efficiently, I think. Um, another book which is amazing is Rosemary Gladstar's um, Medicinal Herbs. Uh, for anybody that not only wants to know more about herbal medicine but wants to start using it immediately like from things in their kitchen, from herbs that can, they can get from their local health stores or herbal stores this one is amazing and it's also good for people that want to grow their own herbs and use them as well she's so lovely, I've, I've read so many of her books and I think she's so easy to understand, she's so down to earth um, it tells you about like like how to make a tincture, how to make a, an infused oil, how to make different elixirs and things like that. It's really hands-on and really practical and she gives a lot of home remedies that you can use like for adults and for children and babies but Rosemary Gladstar's Medicinal Herbs is a really good book that I recommend for anybody that wants to start making their own herbal things. The last book that I'm going to speak about, I don't actually have the physical, physical copy, I've got like a, um, an online version but if you can get either one, I think it's amazing. It's called The Textbook of Natural Medicine. I'll put a picture of it up here and I'll put the link in the box down below. Hopefully I'm saying it right, but it's a textbook of natural medicine. And I use that throughout uni all the time. I used to always go to the library to use it. It literally is like, it has, uh, it's, it's so exhaustive. Uh, what I love about the book most is that it has, it's fully referenced. It has all the references to, to, to the things that it claims, the things that it talks about. It has um, not just only herbal medicine, like herbal remedies or natural remedies, it has like vitamins and minerals and, and all these different things as well. So the textbook of natural medicine is great. Um, I said that was the last book I was going to speak about, but it's not the last book. I just remember this, this amazing encyclopedia. It's called the Natural Remedies Encyclopedia. It was one of my first books. This, again, this was a gift to me and I, I love it. It literally has everything in there. And another reason why I love it is it doesn't just talk about herbs, but it talks about um, treatments that you can do, like hot and cold treatments, uh, foot baths and massages and all these different things. And it doesn't just talk about the diseases of the body and how to heal it with different herbs. It talks about the disease like, of the mind as well. So how your mind affects uh, your body physically um, so that's and that's really important that's a really important concept in herbal medicine and in any like natural uh, treatments so this uh, natural remedies encyclopedia is uh, one of my favorites as well so I hope you enjoyed that video if you have any questions about the books then do comment and I will answer them I'll try my best to answer them if there are any books that I haven't mentioned that you really like then comment down below as well. Again, I will put all the links to all the books that I've mentioned in this video. I will be doing the next video about how to go about studying health medicine in the UK. I know the people that have asked me in other countries, but I will get to that. But I'm going to start with the UK first because that's what I know. Um, so do keep an eye out for that. Second thing is um, the workshop that I spoke about on my last video, it has finally got a date. It's the 25th of November. It will be a winter wellness workshop. If you're in London or you can easily get to London, then please do um, calm down get a ticket and come down I will put the link to the workshop down in the description box below okay take care guys bye